was a good win, so it definitely can be done. Game underway from the boot of Jordan Lee. Kickoff is collected on the full then by Lachlan Hannigan. Whitehaven attacking left to right from our position in the main stand. Being uh, attacking the pretty empty railway end when I'm being completely honest, but the rain has just started. So I think most folks seeing that have seen and took cover under the Kells end. Left in the set and the what, four, four or five metres out of the balls coming back now. Lily then finds Gaskell. We're going to look for the kick to the corner. No one's back. Joey Romeo's got some work to do. Collects it there, Joey Romeo. And he should do. Does do very well. Does Joey Romeo. He's on the way. Here's the Kiwi. And he gets you off all the way. Into the hands of Jake Mason. It's going to be a foot race. Suda can't get there. Ockham Ball's trying to get there. Jake Mason. Still there. Jake Mason. He's away. He's Jake Mason. Fantastic try from Whitehaven. And how often have we seen that in recent weeks? Jake Mason. And the knock and ball was on the chase. He tried to grab into Jade the knock and ball. He couldn't. And now Jake Carter, left footed, has just added the X's on here at the recreation ground. BBC Radio Cumbria Sports Online. Just checking with that. That is. Lads are, lads are really enjoying him being here. So yeah, he works really hard and fits in what we need him to do. Hannigan's going to be looking forward. Bounces off the head there. Can wait and get over the can through Connor Holiday. His first try of the campaign, I believe, for the second rower. And just a stroke look that Whitehaven needed to lose Jake Mason at one end. But then extended their lead to 22 0 down in the capital. York extended their lead to 10 0 at Dewsbury. Carter comes at this left footed, extends Whitehaven's lead to 12 0 here against the Bradford Bulls. It is Whitehaven 12, Bradford Bulls 0. And it is. But the balls are what? Eight metres out. Right hand side of the post. Going to go down that short side. Suter's going to try and get over there from Dummy Half. And he has got that ball down. Has Mitch Suter just coming out of Dummy Half. And that's what Whitehaven wanted. Wanted being caught around that rook area. Maybe just caught napping ever so slightly. Well, Whitehaven. It's going to be Jordan Lilly. Of course, as you'd expect on goal kicking duties for the balls this afternoon. Comes at it right footed. Slots it right over the black dot. And it is Haven 12, Bull 6. Oh, if he wants to put his hand up. So Suter then goes right to Lilly. Man and Owen McCann on the charge down. Can he collect? He can't get Owen McCann. Can Owen McCann get there? He should be. Right here, baby. Oh, has he got that ball down? I don't think he has. I don't think he has. That is a fantastic tackle. Fantastic covering tackle. Who was it that was there? I think it could have been Suter. It could have been Gaskell. What is he going to give? Oh, McCarron looked like he should have been over on that left-hand side. He feels like he was over on that left-hand side. Fantastic work from Jake Carter. Not used to playing in the centres, of course, is Jake Carter. He's having to do a job for his side out there this afternoon. Gasco looking for the little chick over the top. And it's got there, knocked on, gone backwards. The balls are in. Gaskell just put it in that sort of area, and I think it could be Jordan Lilly. That's his second of the afternoon. And it is scores level here at the recreation ground and we're still in there at dummy half comes across then to Gaskell Gaskell now finds Lilly oh have they got an overlap on that side I think they have and Tafu is going to be in on that left hand side corner could be in Farley if he gets there half a second earlier it's one of the big shots and it goes vital because it's correct it's legal as Jordan yeah, definitely, Lilly definitely. knocks it over from the touchline Bulls 12 sorry Haven 12 Bulls 18 coming from the Kells end but it's coming from the Bradford Bulls Suter then Lily then comes across the Gaskell kick over the top there's no one there it's going to bounce into the hands of Kieran Gill coming in from that far left hand side touchline going to come at it right footed 23 metres on the straight there's plenty of angle involved for the former Leeds Rhino you wouldn't expect anything less however from Jordan Lilly would you he knocks it over from that left hand side Castle, King, Newton all involved 22 metres out in the middle comes right to Holmes then comes across to Myers Myers that's all she wrote it is all she wrote here at the recreation ground despite being down to 12 they've still got the momentum out there have the ball Lilly comes at it right footed I said it's going to be hard and it doesn't make any difference to Jordan Lilly he remains 5 from 5 this afternoon there is Hugh Irvin so good work from the Wells International it's 5 and last Whitehaven are 5 metres out coming down this left hand side Owen oh, McCarron comes back into the hands it's gone backwards Joey Romeo collects he's going to give it here to his referee Matty Lane but touch judge and step back he's going to come on it left footed is Jake 
and he does it's Whitehaven 18 Bradford 30 in here, but it's in the hands of Tom Holmes now Holmes steps back inside trying to get away has he only caught him he has balls are going to take the two and I said earlier on it's game set if it's, uh, it was all she wrote it certainly should be now Will if they knock over the two we sort of fall back into what's been killing us over the last couple of weeks so you know, a lot of positives to take out of this game for, for Whitehaven I think Lily adds the extras down just short I make it 70 seconds to go here at the recreation ground Ty Renault goes left to Lily over the top to fill it in in that left hand side corner all for the best efforts of Adin Gebi trying to get back but I think that could be our last action here at the recreation ground I make it within to the final minute to fill it in on that left hand side for what is it could be second of the afternoon I